What is up guys and welcome back to our fun career mode episode number 31 and today we're actually starting at the National Stadium starting at Wembley against uh, Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-final so uh, yeah going into this I thought I was gonna win really because Liverpool might actually get relegated this season on obviously on my career mode now it's so surprising but you know they didn't really show that kind of lack of form in the semi-final really like fluky there with Moreno he sat on the ball I, I couldn't tackle him for some reason no one knows and uh, he crossed it in and Benteke was at back post and he headed it in so basically Liverpool went 1-0 up quite a bit of bullshit going on but you know what can you do at the end of the day players should have been marking him in the box I should have tackled him first off and got the ball and uh, we went 1-0 down but uh, kind of straight after that, a few minutes later, we did made a nice, really nice team goal. Uh, you know, one touch passing from the halfway line, and uh, Asamba Longa finished it off. So you know, it was a really fantastic team goal, and one of my favourite goals I've scored this season because it was involved about five players with one touch football, and I, I, I thought it was a really good goal. And uh, you know, that made it one one. And um, you know, after that, really, it was kind of all Liverpool in the first half. There was a really putting on pressure on me. You know, there was testing us a lot. But uh, we'd have one more chance later on in the half with uh, Livermore. You know, I thought he should have really scored that. And again, I thought on the stroke of half time, we should have really uh, done better here as well. We should have definitely maybe made it two one. But uh, you know, we went into the half time uh, one one. I'm, I won't gonna argue with it because. I thought we was it was a quite a fair game really in the first half. We both had equal chances, so uh, I thought it was right to be a uh, one-one and you know drawing. But uh, anyway, the second half we started off the better, and uh, you know so did uh, they really. We again both equal, but they took their chance. They took a bloody corner and scored a corner. I think that's the only second corner I've conceded ever on FIFA 16, and. No one was marking him. As you see on the replay, no one was marking him. I just don't get why. And then Butland obviously had to come out and try and punch the ball. It wasn't quick enough. Balotelli got there first and, uh, you know, he headed it into the net. So it was 2-1 to them. And they could have made it 3-1 here. I'm surprised they didn't really. And uh, they had another chance here. I mean, don't get me wrong. We give away a free kick and they still have a shot. And the referee says, play on. So I didn't really get that, like... And, you know, that's how the game ended, really disappointingly. We won't be getting to the FA Cup final against Chelsea or Man U. Obviously, they haven't played the game yet. So, to be fair, this season, we've done a lot better than last season. We didn't even get past round uh, four in the FA Cup last season. So, to get to the semi-final, uh, the new promoted side is really good. And also, we signed this uh, free agent, uh, Kruiton. He's English, 63 rated, 19 years old. I'm just going to train him and train him. And hopefully, by the end of the season, obviously, there's not long left. There's five games now. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get him near the 70 mark if I, you know, if I train him like and put most of the attributes on him. But anyway, second game in the episode now was against Manchester City at home. We, uh, we've actually beat these early on in the season away, uh, 2-1. And it was like our third game so you know I was really surprised that we actually won it to be fair because you know I didn't really I kind of had like a new squad and I didn't really expect how to play them but you know they went 1-0 up uh, with Edison Cavani good finish by him really um, me marking and me kind of it wasn't I should have maybe closed him down better I mean he easily barged Keane off the ball and then with Daenery I, I hardly you know kind of blocked him or tackled him I just let him shoot and as you see with his quality he's gonna score it but uh, after that goal really we you know piled on the pressure we uh, put a ball through and somehow Patrick Roberts against his old side who was there for a season you know he hits the post I mean it was on his favourite left foot and I don't know how he didn't score really and uh, you know that's how they went in at half time but you know we came back with Jamie Vardy he was unlucky here good save by Hart again and, you know, it was really frustrating because I thought we really deserved a goal. And again, we came close here. Diami had a shot, but, you know, he followed it up, hammered it into the top of the roof of the net. And, you know, he equalised. So, great goal by Diami. Well done to him for, you know, not giving up. But it, it was quite funny, really, because I don't think we would have scored that goal unless their defender company, he actually got in the way of Joe Hart and made him uh, fall over. 
So, I mean, we wouldn't have scored if it weren't for that. And, uh, you know, we drew 1-1. One, one. Bit of disappointing result because I really I nearly needed to win that game to keep the pressure on Tottenham. Because it, it's, the title is basically between me and Tottenham now. And, you know, if we keep drawing games, Tottenham's just going to keep, you know, getting away from us more. And, you know, it's going to be impossible to win the league, really. But, uh, anyway, we put Crewton into the training. Obviously, we uh, put him in three slots instead of Swanson and Rodak. So, yeah, he, he went up straight away. So, he's looking like a really good player. But, anyway, guys, crunch game. Us v Tottenham at White Hart Lane. Who wins? Could possibly win the league. It's first v second. At the moment, Tottenham are first on 73 and we're second on 72. So, you know, who wins this game? Could, I like I've already said, could win the title. And it was a massive and a fantastic start from us. Jamie Vardy nicking the ball off Dembele and just uh, finessing it past uh, Lloris. Great finish by Jamie Vardy. So glad, you know, he's back from his injury. He's on his second goal of the season, but obviously he was out for five months. So I let him off for that. And, uh, you know, we was, I thought we was really good, you know, in the first half. Going up, uh, you know, taking our chances. We did take one. But, um, you know, I thought I could have done better with this free kick as well. For some reason, some free kicks just go right up at bar. And some of them there will just, like, go in. So... On on FIFA 16, I think free kicks are probably a bit more kind of not really accurate because like on FIFA 15, you could score quite a lot and you could score it every time. But I, I feel like FIFA 16 don't let you do that. But uh, anyway, uh, second half, obviously we were still one up going later into it, and they sent a ball through to Dembele, and you know he finishes it off. Now I've learned in this FIFA, do not bring your goalkeeper out. If they are one on one, because the goalkeeper he just doesn't save the shots. He doesn't, because if he's rushing out and doesn't have the best of reflex to save the shots, and even worse, Eric Bloody Dyer pops up, doesn't he? Turns keen and you know fires it past Bloody Butland, and they go two one up. So our chances of winning the title have gone like that. So frustrating. We lose the game two one. We're now four points behind them. In the lead, they're on, they're on 76, we're on 72. Ah, oh, it's just it was just really frustrating because we were winning, and you know, and now even next episode with our last three games, we've got flipping Arsenal at home, Southampton away, and then Chelsea at home. I mean, the Southampton game, I am expecting to win that because I think they're actually really down near the bottom as well. But the Arsenal and Chelsea games, I'm glad they're at home really because I think we beat obviously Arsenal away from home. Earlier in the season, and we also uh, we also lost to Chelsea away from home. So I'm glad they're at home, and hopefully, if we win all these games, hopefully Tottenham will drop a few points, and we can uh, you know win the title. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, make sure you tune in next episode for the season finale. And guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.